Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. What's you do right, 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 right. Doing tough. That surge was about when you see a horse, you see the jockey, just keep moving straight. Don't be looking this way, looking that way. Keep it moving. Basically, like what, if you're on a path to do something great, just keep looking forward. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Just keep it, keep forward, because you'll be distracted. <clears throat> it was good service. Y'all, but a lot of people graduated today. Like, really, really, that was nice. That the pastor, that a pastor will do that for his uh, congregation. So I guess you get two graduations, because you get one at school, at your college, and you get one at your church that you attend, which is always good. I like belonging to a church that would do that. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Look at that rose voice right there. Hmm. How much? But guys, hope you guys have have a um, happy and blessed Sunday. Whether you're going out to dinner or I don't know. Well, me personally, I'm going to feast on a car, so. I'm gonna have a good Sunday. Y'all, these cars is getting on my nerves. Every time you turn around, you gotta fix a car. Well, that's a part of life, baby. That's a part of life. You always gotta fix something. Always gotta do something. Thank you. Unless you don't have nothing or you ain't trying to get nothing, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gotta fix. Well, yeah, you gotta still fix your bike. It's still yeah. gotta fix whatever you got. Well, it won't be as expensive. Yeah, it's still gonna fix. Still gotta fix. It. Life is about fixing things and making things right. Moving forward. If you don't do that, then you ain't gonna move forward. So don't never feel that you ain't gonna never have to fix nothing. Oh, y'all. Y'all were talking about him. Not why don't say nothing about his seatbelt. He just he. I do. The thing go off is y'all here when we on the video. Speak. See. He don't care. So I, it's nothing I can do. I don't like seatbelts. That's my husband, and I do try to encourage him, because lift him up, and stuff. Because if you get in an accident, don't to me. people don't understand. If you get in an accident, you don't have to break your collarbone with the seatbelt. I understand if you don't have it on, you can get more, more, worse situations happening to you. But I'd rather try to stop myself from getting hurt than to getting hurt. Because with that seatbelt on, I can break my collarbone, anything. I can break my neck. It can pull me to the point where it stopped and it. Beep, 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 no, beep, just, beep, beep. I just wanted to let y'all know. It doesn't bother me. It bothers her. Don't bother me. I just ignore it because I know what it is. When you're so used to not having one, the seatbelt on, you just, you know what I mean? And I feel more comfortable because I can move around. If, if I would see if I was in an accident, I can see it quick and I can react to it. With that seatbelt on, you can't. Even if you get, if you crash and you run into something to the point where you can't get your seatbelt off and you stuck in the car, then what? You gonna die because you couldn't get your seatbelt off. I agree to a certain extent, but you know one thing I did learn, y'all. <clears throat> Think about this. My mother, she got a. It's not an old car. She has a Chevy Avail, and um, I guess they were trying to tell her to to get a car with power. And my mother was. She thought about it. She said no. And this does make a lot of sense to why I get a car powder. Just say if something just ha happens, accidents do happen, that's why they call them accidents. It's not purposely done or whatever. You just fall into some water. Do you know you can't, if you got power windows, your windows are not gonna come down and you cannot open up the door because your power is messed up. But by you having a crank window, you can get out. So I just wanna leave y'all with that. What y'all think about that? But if you riding and you know you finna go in that water, you better open that window up before you get down there. And don't have that seatbelt on, or you ain't gonna get out. Because if you get in that water, you can't get that seatbelt loose. You got nothing to cut it with, you're done. I'm not gonna agree with that seatbelt. You're done. Because too many of y'all have said to me. See, she don't ever wanna agree with no, what I'm saying. No, listen. Now I'm gonna listen when to When the pastor say something, she listens. No, y'all. When I say no. something, she don't listen. I do listen, I you guys. It. I do listen to him. But that right there with that <clears throat> seatbelt, y'all even said in the comments. What, why don't you tell your husband to put on his seatbelt? I do, y'all. He hard-headed. He don't listen. Some people, like my mom it's say, hard head hard make us soft behind. It's not about Sometimes being hard. Sometimes somebody got to be like, whoop. Safe. Look. You know Look, what I'm saying? Look, see how she just went? No, I'm just... Show him again. <laughs> whoop. 
Yeah, there you go. But if it was a really impact, y'all, she would be through no. because her collarbone no. would be cracked. It's gonna say me. They gonna take her out of the car with a cracked collarbone, a shoulder bone. They gonna take me out of the car. I'm gonna be probably messed up, but they gonna get me out but of see, the car. See, that's the thing. I don't want you to be messed up. I want you to be all the way here, all the way home. I don't but want I no husband. Not, but I, oh, like, oh, baby, they be like. But I oh, might I not be. But I might home. not be all the way home though. If I get my collarbone and stuff, bro. That's what you're saying. You ain't gonna be home. Yeah. That's what you're. You not. So if I had a seatbelt on and all that break, I'm through. We don't want that though. So okay. the, the moral of the story is y'all just said, be safe and be careful while you're driving. Watch other drivers while you're driving. Because some people don't watch you and some people don't, you don't watch them. They don't watch you and everybody driving crazy and going whichever which way they want to go. Don't have no blinkers on, no nothing. So just be safe out here. I'm going to do what the pastor say. I'm staying focused. See what I'm saying? And I'm going to be like What I just say? <laughs> She'll listen to the, 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 the pastor. The pastor. pastor. But she won't listen to me. I listen to my husband, y'all, and y'all think y'all. I think y'all know that. I think you all know that. I to do whatever. Certain degrees. Yes, I do, y'all. I'm a good one. Yeah, there's too many, not too many out here that's like that. I'm a Don't good, get me wrong. I'm she a, a good, good wife. She a good woman. But y'all, y'all told me no. They said your husband need to put on his seatbelt. Even the guys on, even the males on here, we have. I don't have just all. We don't have just all women. It's males on here. There's young people. We, have, we, you, we are do, the role models. I do put on my seatbelt. I just don't like it because I don't feel that it's safe. Everybody keeps saying it's safe. I don't feel that it's safe. If you got God in your life, whatever you do, how you do, you're going to be safe. If they keep saying trust in God, oh, yeah. I'm going to trust in God. Remember when I so, said... Y'all, remember when so I said... when I got my head died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking real fresh. Like a million bucks. I was going to do my beard. I did a little bit, but I ain't, you know. Y'all look, he gray too. Say it. Yeah, but I ain't as gray as wifey, though. That's all right, but I look good in my gray. I'm rocking my gray. I ain't say you didn't look good, baby. Hey, yeah, just... but y'all remember when he said, uh, oh, where God at when you be in them woods? Remember you said that? Yeah. Now, now you changed it. No, I didn't. See how you got I know I didn't change it. Listen. This is Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> Listen, I didn't change it. I just said to the point, if you are walking in some woods, you don't know what's happening. You don't know people. You don't know what's going on. You don't know how to deal with other people. You don't know what goes on in a person's mind. I just be telling her to be safe and be careful. Watch who you're dealing with and watch who around you. Because you never know. I'm not there. I be gone. So she up there by herself, you never you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't I don't I'm not saying everybody is bad, but you still gotta be cautious and careful out here. That's all. It's going to start to rain. Yeah. I ain't going to be able to call it. I can't still call When you go get the car fixed, I can go. <clears throat> so that's all I'm saying. Oh, I need that receipt, too. Is your dad going to fix it in the rain? All you got to do is just pull it in there. I need that Back receipt. I need all right. that receipt. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to be it for, for this Sunday. If I um, if anything else comes, then I'll fill y'all in. But right now. Right now. Guys, uh, we read from Hebrews 12. Uh, verse 1 and verse 2 so you know where it starts off where for you have to find out what is there for and where for so you have to read that what they're there for and where for that's where it started yeah where for where for my bible hold on where for so I can get y'all the right the right information you know when it's asked there for what is it you ask yourself what is it there for hmm. where for seeing we also are Compact, compo what is that? Compassed about with a passed about with a great cloud of witnesses. Let us by us aside. Y'all just read it, cause the car's shaking and I ain't got my glasses on. So yeah, it's um Hebrews 12, right here, chapter one and two. So all right, you guys, peace out. Love you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Bye. You got anything else to say before we cut this camera See off? you later. Bye, Love you.
University with a Master of Education, Dini Scott. Come on, baby. University with a postmaster specialist degree in school psychology, Ariane Clark.